Now, a, a Catholic nurse who was pushed out of her job for wearing a cross around her neck was unfairly dismissed by the hospital where she worked. An employment tribunal has ruled. Mm. Theatre practitioner Mary Onuowa claimed that she had faced a campaign of harassment by bosses at Croydon University Hospital, a place she'd worked for for 18 years. Yes, absolutely. Well, the panel ruled that she was forced to quit her role after employers created an offensive and hostile and intimidating environment. It's absolutely shocking stuff, this one. With us now is Caroline Farrow, who is the UK and Ireland's campaign director at Citizen Go, which is a group who looks to defend and promote the participation of society in politics, and certainly as well when it comes to things exactly like this. Caroline, thank you very, very much. Great to have you on the show. What do you make of this ruling? It's fabulous. Um, and congratulations to, to Mary and to the team at Christian Concern who brought this. Um, you know, and I think, although it is fabulous and every single Christian can now, you know, wear the cross, wear the symbol of our faith uh, around their necks at work. But it is horrific that she had to go through such an ordeal in the first place. Nobody should be forced to, to choose between doing the job that they love and, you know, working in the medical profession is a vocation. Uh, and their faith. The two things are not incompatible. And you can see just how petty the rule was, you know, in, in that, you know, this lady complained rightly so that people of other faiths and religions, you know, they weren't discriminated against. And in fact, you know, they're allowed uh, to wear their lanyards, you know, exactly. the, the policy of lanyard wearing was allowed, but, but not a little cross around your neck. Do you think there's actually, potentially, anti-Christianity in the workplace. Is that maybe what this is? Or is it just idiocy? Uh, I think it's both, actually. Um, I think it's a kind of adherence, it's a blind adherence to bureaucracy, and we cannot be seen to be giving anybody any special uh, treatment. I think there is an actual antipathy to Christianity. I think particularly, uh, you know, native Brits feel more confident uh, about kind of rejecting Christianity, which is, you know... The, we are a country with a Judeo-Christian heritage. And so people feel more confident of rejecting their own heritage uh, rather than uh, rejecting anybody else's uh, heritage. So, you know, we don't see um, other... F well, actually, no, I mean, we, we do see... Um, examples of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism, which are abhorrent. But we don't see these workplace uh, discrimination cases in, in quite the same way. So nobody would dream of, you know, telling uh, a Muslim to, re to remove, you know, their, their head covering. Mm. Uh, you know, nobody would dream of telling another faith not to do this. And it's always, always Christians who are targeted. And, and I think it's because people... People, people feel empowered. They, they don't feel like they're being in any way discriminatory when, in fact, they are. Mm. Yeah, do you think that there is um, some... I mean, obviously, she has... She, the, the tribunal ruled she was unfairly dismissed. But do you think it is in a workplace setting, in a hospital setting, where you are treating patients, the reason some managers might get a bit uneasy is because you might try and impart your religion on the people who are ill and they get a bit nervous about the sorts of things mm. you might be telling vulnerable people um, when it comes to religion. Do you think there's a bit of that going on? I think absolutely. And I think we have seen cases like this where people have been, you know, disciplined uh, and, and lost their jobs because they've said to patients, patients, may I pray with you? But in fact, you know, showing a cross, showing a symbol of your religion uh, is no worse than, you know, wearing a political symbol, which, which the NHS staff were encouraged to all the time, you know, with their um, rainbow lanyards and their various, you know, sort of trans badges and, and whatever else. Uh, and I think actually wearing a sign of a faith is in a completely different category uh, to wearing a sort of political symbol. And I think Absolutely. doing that is that wearing a symbol of your faith and talking about your faith is fine as long as you respect boundaries and you don't proselytize. So I think it's absolutely fine for a Christian to say to somebody, look, I'm a Christian, do you mind if I pray for you? And that can open up a helpful conversation, same as if someone else says, you know, I'm a Jew, I'm a Muslim, M may I, you know, yeah. pray for you in that way? You know, personally, I'd be honoured and flattered. But then if a patient uh, says to you, 
I think that's a load of rubbish and I don't believe in all of that. Please mm. don't, you know, then you have to respect their boundaries and not try and proselytize. So, yeah, it's it's absolutely fine and it can be, you know, spiritually helpful and emotionally helpful and psychologically mm. helpful to be able to talk about your faith and share your faith. But you must be very careful to do it in a way that doesn't impose yeah. uh, and doesn't, um, you know, you know, cause offence. And, and, of course... I would also say, even though I have very strong views on, say, mm. Orthodox Christianity, you must be very careful, I think, about trying to impose your own ethics on others. So, you know, there, yeah. are, there are areas that's not appropriate to talk about. Absolutely. No, 100%. I think so. And as well, you know, I wonder how many, I wonder how many people, how many of those pictures came out, you know, of nurses taking the knee or doctors taking the knee when mm. it was all mm. kicking off, you know, and all this stuff. Like you said, the rainbow lanyards, you know. Go outside and clap well, for them. Yeah, you know, bumper stickers, honk for the NHS, all this stuff. And then you, know, you get someone there. You get someone there who's a devout Christian, and they want to wear a cross around the neck. Let's be honest. There would have been riots, wouldn't there, if this had been, uh, you know, potentially potentially a, a different religion, and someone had been asked to remove a burqa or something like that, or, yeah. or, or something like that. There would have been riots. <laughs> and the other thing is, is so um, you know, recently I, I think you covered there was. Um, a doctor who was suspended from uh, his role as a GP uh, for abusing, uh, you know, women on social media, Dr. Adrian Harrop. And one of the things that he did was um, he wasn't disciplined for this, but he wore his rainbow lanyard uh, and he had on it a little badge saying anti-turf spray, which meant that, you know, basically he wanted to repel uh, people who had <laughs> different views on gender yeah. ideology uh, to him. And, and, and that's the GP. And, and I once made the comment that I would be very nervous now uh, going to my GP and seeing all this kind of rainbow ideology, transgender mm. badges, etc. Because instantly the doctor is signalling to me mm. what they think on a particular contentious, difficult yeah. issue, mm. which is entirely different to, you know, I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Saviour, you know. Yeah. So, so, the, so the two things, you know, yeah. I, I think political symbols, no. Faith symbols, absolutely yeah. yes. Well, Carolyn Farrow, thank you for joining us on that uh, important uh, story there because yeah. it does uh, set a very uh, good precedent for lots of Absolutely. people who might be faced with a similar situation.